I get to do the narration. Let me know if you guys have sound. Yep. In an age beyond living memory. A devil shade cast upon our land. Plunging it into the deepest darkness. Wait, this is King Knight. And condemning us to grief without end. Oh no. In vain, we pray to the bleak heavens. The twelve gods descended from above. Twelve gods? I can hardly... I can hardly worship one. Right. And the greatest of the to gods. To lead the charge Samaritan. against the great evil. Invoking holy light, the gods smote the devil. And granted us our lost hope once more. We in our world were thus reborn. And so, this is important. As time flows endlessly on, we await the Keyblade Master. Our nightmare has faded into legend. Oh, Only God. you can it's... open the Kingdom Hearts, Ike. It's Fire Emblem Genealogy, oh. the Holy War. Is that a falchion? No. Also, no uh, this, this, is, this, this, is, this is unre this is unrelated to the the, the quote unquote main storyline, I guess. I will explain when we finish the God game. Damn it. But I have to restart my thing because the controller is not working. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Oh god, it's Fire Emblem! Oh my god, it's Fire Emblem! Okay, so this is gonna be a lot of information really quick, but don't worry about it too much. And Gabe, the Dragon Apology. And we're allowed to do serious. Damn it, or Funny voice acting. <laughs> so basically, this is a timeline of a. Uh, Of Granville. So basically, through the. Shut up. Shut up. Uh -huh. So, through the intro, you know, obviously there was an like age of conflict in the world against an evil god and the 12 good gods. That's all you need to know for right now. I can't explain any anything if you guys have a question. But let's start, Where's shall we? <laughs> But I have a question. In about 5,000 years. Said someone invested the West Bank. Yes, the Kingdom of Gran was founded on the West Banks of some river I don't remember. Might I narrate? At the heart of the continent of Jugal lies Granville, a kingdom founded by St. Haim of the Twelve Crusaders. Supporting the royal family, the heirs of Haim are six noble houses. You can see the noble houses of Frege, Dozel, Valhalla, Valtomer, Edda, Chalfi, and Junbi. Each descended Twice from a crusade. Twice as many houses and three houses. <laughs> You're how so many funny. Of those are, how many of those are K-pop artists? Shut up. They're descended from... <laughs> the six states, while still subservient to the royal family, each occupy vast swaths of Granville's land and maintain mighty militaries of their own. Owing to King Asmurus' advanced age, the governments of Granval falls to his son, the highly respected Prince Kurth. Kurth has two trusted advisors in his rule. Lord Byron of House Chalfi, Lord Ring of House Junbi. Granval's Chancellor, wow, I Lord, if that's the guy we get later. Lord Reptor of Frege, has long objected the to the threat the of his influence evil. posed by Kurth and his advisors and has allied himself with the avaricious Lord Bastard, I mean Langbalt, of House Dozel to form a faction opposed to Kurt's rule over Granvale. The young Duke of House Veltsover, like Lord the Arvis... Evil people have, like, a scowl. Wow, how'd you figure out they were evil? 
Also, is our protagonist the person with red hair? No, he's a friend of the protagonist. Lord Iris is the loyal guard. Because if the protagonist is the prince or king, he looks very generic. We'll get there. And has little time for like the circus, circus of politics. Only Father Claude of Half Edda could foresee the oncoming storm. Father Claude? <laughs> oh no! Daddy Claude! <laughs> In, into the midst of this tense situation comes dire news from Jundral's East. Oh, Darna, not the desert folk. a town in the Yig Desert with deep ties to Grandvale, is now besieged by savage warriors from Isaac. Reports of a brutal massacre abound. We're almost done. The news is met by the people of Granville with furious cries for retribution, and long before the kingdom declares war on Isaac, Prince Kurth leads Granville's charge on his father's behalf, commanding the military might of the kingdom's six houses. At Kurth's side, as always, is none other than Lord Byron, a highly decorated hero of peerless valor in his own right. Granville has poured its entire oh, military might promoted unit. into the Isaac. Yeah, you think that, don't you? And precious few soldiers remain behind with its neighbors. Hey, look, it's my favorite chapter in the game. Austria to the west. No, it's Austria, the Dominion of Lords. <laughs> and Verdun and to the, the south. Kingdom well, in bound in alliance with Granville. Yes. None dare dream to you they could ever be threatened. It is not long at all, however, before the people's confidence is shattered. As if out of nowhere, a vast horde from Brevan, led by Prince Gandalf, crosses the Granvale border and lays siege to Junbi Castle. In Lord Ring's absence, his daughter, Lady Ideen, is Junbi's only guardian. Lord Byron has entrusted the defense of Granvale in his absence to his son, Sigurd, who remains at Chalfie Castle with a mere handful of soldiers. That's our main character! He has blue hair, you see. Like all Fire Emblem protagonists. Yeah. A friend of Ideen since childhood, Sigurd is horrified to hear the news of the hero of Jungby Siege. And even so, with so few soldiers, is determined to protect Ideen and his fatherland from savage Verdant Knight hordes. The year is 757, wait, wait, Grand wait, wait. Calendar. And thus, the threshold of fate is cast open. I no. have a question. <laughs> yes. Why are they calling them... Why Why is this kingdom saying this? they've got savages on their east and savages on their west? It's an age of conflict. Also, does this mean we're going to go save Sigurd's girlfriend? That is not Sigurd's girlfriend. We'll meet her next chapter. Say hello to them first. <laughs> I just like how they keep adding shit to the map. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, say hello to Medir and Ideen. Medir? Dark Eater? Milady, the castle is. No, Wait, why it, am I giving... it's not Medir, it's Milady. Milady, the castle is completely surrounded. We failed you. We couldn't do a thing to save you from them. It's alright, my dear. Every one of you did the best you could do. Please, you didn't worry about me. You must ensure that as many yeah. of you survive this as possible. No, my lord. We might st stand a chance, but every last one of us will give our lives to protect you. Right to the very end. Thank you, my dear. I'm so yeah. sorry. Oh, oh shit, that's a lot of axe users. Seal off the castle. Access I will then rest for a hundred years until a soldier comes and saves me. Gandalf's army, Gandalf! sorry, is jungly surrounded. Gandalf, no! Ideen is in grave danger. <laughs> Noish, I'm going to help her. I'm leaving Chalfie in your hands. Hold, my lord. Surely you don't intend to go alone. Nearly all of our forces are ready on the march to Isaac the father. There's hardly anybody left to call upon. They may be simple savages. On Isengard. But Bertan's army is still huge. I can't risk your lives by forcing you to face them. Perish the thought, my lord. I was born a knight and Perish I will gladly risk dying a knight's death in your name. Who allow our lord to die? Talk about how Gandalf 
Are we gonna talk about how Gandalf the White is sieging down the castle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alec, I trust you're the same mind. He has eagles. This is oh. Alec. Oh, he has, he's got a turban. He's cool. Yep. Oh, sorry. He just got out of the shower. He. I've always thought he looked like that. Yeah, of course. But there's more than just Jungby <laughs> Estate. We gotta stop him nearby and protect the villages first. Those thugs will try to beat us two of them, and they'll loot, massacre, and burn them all down if they do. We gotta get there we first. We can't relieve the siege on the castle. Let the locals ahead and don't the villages down and starving. fortifying their defenses. Absolutely. Must not neglect our nightly duties Woo! to the people. Especially not in a time like this. Good point, Alec. Actually, it was all Oifi's idea. Oifi. That kid's every bit okay. the tactician that he, they say he is. Give him a few years, <laughs> and he'll be a match for his old grandpa, Lord Caesar. Jabe, I have a question. Oifi's still around the castle, huh? Should we forsake our nightly duty to yeah. the people in order to save the princess? Oh, by the way, say hi to Absolutely. Oifi. O Oifi's great. Oifi. My apologies for still being here, sire. Still, if you wouldn't allow it, I'd like to join you in this battle. I can't just sit back while you risk your lives. Oh, I hi, don't Rolf. know. You're still so young. Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm already 14, sire. I may not be battle ready just yet, but there's still much I can do to support you. Please, allow me to accompany you. I swear I won't let you down. Fair enough, Wifey. After all, you've already spent two years training as my squire. Real battlefield experience would be fantastic for your training. But you're still definitely not up to actual combat duty for now. How about you ride with me as my advisor instead? Are we gonna narrate every fucking part of this? I am going to try. I'll kill you! Why not? Gabe, he won't let me narrate because I can't be trusted. I trust you, Cave Wave. Yeah, but I can't read English. Oh, so by the way, this is the game mechanic. If you leave the castle unguarded and an enemy seizes it, you lose. Or should I say your home castle? Say hi to Arden. Wait. Yeah? Where's the rest of his shoulder? Did he lose it in an accident? He's a big guy. He has a lot of shoulder. But where's the rest of it? You'll see him. Hold on a moment. Why me, Alec? Sturdy as a brick wall, strong as an ox, slow as a turtle. Face it, Arden, you were born for guard duty. <laughs> ah. I'm strong and tough, I know. But you don't really need to call me slow. He has this a point, is our armor knight. We better hope no mages see this castle, or he's dead. So uh, fine, I'll do it. But you have to bring me with you at least once. I don't want to be left out of the action. Right, man. It's time to set out. Let's start by assisting the villages, and it's onward to Jumbi. You see, you get the bad ending if you never take oh. him out of the castle once. Are you serious? You get you start with two cavaliers and a paladin. He, horses are key in this game. So, yeah, you can see Arden very oh slow. Oh my god, he's an armory. Wow, 13 strength. The guard duty. It's more than Ike. So we should probably go over some of the units. Shut the fuck up. So, here's Sigurd. Oh. It's more than Ike. Do you... Already a Chad. Wow, that fucking... You, you, you know how you get one of those units that's pre-promoted, usually? Yeah. Sigurd is basically that. He is a boss motherfucker. <laughs> um, Night Lord, does he promote ever? We will talk about promotion. Promotion does not come into play until level 20. Oh, great fun. Arena level? We will talk about all this. Don't worry about that for now. Funds. Each unit has their own gold stash. Oh, shit. What is the difference between lover and talk? Be right back. My girlfriend's dying. <laughs> Unfortunate. Lover. Condition alive. We don't have any female units yet, so don't worry about it. Talk if there is. I want a ship in the first episode. The first episode, Cave Life? Waiting for Gabe to get back. Who are we shipping? I'll let you guys decide who we ship, because I think that'll be infinitely more interesting than whatever I do. Yeah, because you're gonna meta game who we who we love. I know what the good pairings are because I played this, but the first time I played this, I just shoved together whoever I thought would be a good match for each other. 
Uh, so we gave me it back. That's interesting. It took us ten minutes to get through that intro. Seems reasonable. Well, we can appreciate the nice music. <laughs> so Sorry, get... back. Boy, I sure do hope I didn't miss out on a crucial piece of information that will come into play later. Okay, so... Let's go through these stats, because these are important. Weapon, they, weapon they, level... they have funds. You have to buy items. Yeah. yeah. Authority is a stat that uh, basically your generals have. It gives people within a three-tile radius view a void and a uh, hit. Cool. So keeping your boss like around helps you. Let's talk about the skills. Pursuit is double attacking. Double attacking does not exist traditionally in most, like in most Fire Emblem games. Your unit needs a special skill to be able to do it. Sigurd has it. Alec has it, along with Nihil. Noise has critical and a cost. A cost has some math behind it, in the sense that uh, there is a percentage chance of you who just keep on attacking in any round of combat. So basically, Noish is the strong one, Alec is the fast one who's going to double hit everything. So you're so you're saying there's the possibility that if you get a lucky roll, you could just keep hitting? I have seen an archer attack up to ten times before. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Wait, Wait that's illegal. Alright, and here's probably one of the most important screens in the game. Wait, that's not it. Holy blood. Do you remember the legend of the two, 12 Crusaders of old? All of these... Wait, that's one more Crusader than normal. Yes. Wait, shut up. All... Some units are descended from the 12 Crusaders. When their holy blood glows like that, it means they have major holy blood and can wield legendary weapons passed down. They also get stat improvements to their growth rates. Sigurd is descended from the uh, Crusader Balder, so he has a higher strength growth. And can wield his legendary weapon, which is what you were asking on the title screen. But anyway, let's get to it.